So you guys said it was your second trip to Australia. Are you going to get some time to kind of sightsee while you're here before the big show on the weekend? Not a lot. We we got to we pulled in yesterday morning about six thirty. So actually yesterday we got to walk around, had some amazing meals, and got, we went and walked over kind of around the cove by the opera house and just took a bunch of pictures. It was we just walked all over the city really yesterday. It was great, beautiful day out. So Splendor in the Grass, obviously this weekend. What do you guys love most about playing those big festivals? Yeah, you know what I, I mean. I personally love the fact that we get to go and see other bands. Yeah. And we two are constantly. So when you play a festival, you finally get to see like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. yeah. Hi. And a No More Orchestra. I mean, you really get to finally watch other people play music outside of the bands that are opening. Are there any bands in particular that you guys would love to see? I mean, those two, those I'm and a yeah. Moral Orchestra, the big ones. We we're buddies with those guys. I'm actually saying backups on our record, and they're incredibly talented and some good friends of ours. Same with Under Mortal Orchestra. So cool. we we get to see those guys. It's been a while. Nice. So just with the festival show, I mean, do you guys change your live show to suit the bigger crowd? Or as compared to a smaller gig, or do you approach it the same way? I feel like people don't put enough thought into the festival set list. Yeah. I mean, it's really important. It's not just the songs you play best, and you have to realize that people aren't there to see you, necessarily. They're there to see a lot of music and hang out with a lot of people, and for the most part, I think Tame Impala said it pretty well. Bunch of Tarzans, <laughs> scoping <and> babes. <laughs> I think I read that somewhere. I mean, it's so on point. Oh, that's Back so home, good. Like it's a bunch of Tarzans looking for chicks. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what it is. So you you have to just recognize that. And I, mean, I prefer playing covers and throwing in things that we like musically. Yeah. It's just more, have fun. Yeah, it's more about party. The, yeah, the party. More about the party than it is about us or any of the bands that are there, and it's so amazing to be a part of that and see just how many people are there out in the mud, camping, dirty, that just love music, and that's that's what it's about. That being said, it's all about us. It's all, <laughs> it's all about us. Do you Why guys you have go? any pre, you know, show routines that you guys stick to? Any superstitions before you go on stage? Do you, do you guys shotgun beers in Australia? Do you know what that is? Can you explain? Like, you, take, you take a key, a knife, scissors, teeth. anything sharp, teeth, yes. stab the beer, Okay. pop it open, down it. I, mean, I guess you just toss the beer and you walk on stage. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's the thing that we've done multiple times before we've gone on. We don't really have any superstitions or like rituals. We've probably done that the most. Um, so you guys also recently released Evil Friends, the, your seventh album, yeah. and I believe your seventh album in about eight years, so that's nearly a record a year, that's kind of unheard of in, you know, music nowadays. Is a lot that, of bands are lazy. I was going to say, what is the, is that something that you guys consciously do? You want to put out new material consistently, or is it just how it's, it's progressed naturally? When we started this band, I, I told our manager, I told our label, I mean, everybody knows that we've laid it out. But if we want to record every year, we're going to. And it's more about getting better at what we're doing and understanding it, I guess, to the, the highest extent. I want to know how to record our guitars properly and how to write songs. And to do that, you have to do it pretty much constantly. Uh, if you look at the Beatles, just to get super nerdy, if you like the Beatles as a model, like that's your, <laughs> that's where you're going. Like, it takes a lot of practice. Pretty good model. So yeah. We go out, we go out, we play every single day. I mean, every chance we get, and we did that for five or six years straight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was pretty much nonstop playing and recording. So it was more about us going in and seeing what we could do this year better than we did last year. So album number eight, is that already in the pipeline since you guys like to roll them out pretty yeah. quickly? I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've been talking about it, but the, the thing that I always try to keep in mind is 
just having enough space between recordings to actually have something new to say and something new to put out. And you gotta give people time with, with that record. And just for this weekend, <coughs> Spine in the Grass, what can your fans expect when you guys hit the stage? If you could sum up your set in a few words. I don't totally know what we're gonna do yet, so... Uh, I think they're gonna see um, a very Passionate real... pop. Yeah. <laughs> well, all the best for the weekend then, and um, yeah, have a great time. I'm sure you will. I think we will too. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you thank very you much. Guys.